Today we are going to learn how the ring delivery caller of a lubricator works. When are we going to select 0, 1 and 2 when either one ring is loaded or when both the rings are loaded. Also we are going to see what happens when we select the wrong number. If we see the distal end of the lubricator, there is a sheath within the sheath at the distal half centimeter of a lubricator. The inner sheath is where the rings are loaded. The inner sheath goes in partially when we have selected number 1 and it goes in completely when we have selected the number 2 at the ring delivery collar. So let's see how we are going to load the rings on the lubricator. When we are selecting 0, the inner sheet doesn't move and we are able to load the rings nicely on the lubricator. On the other hand, if we select 2, like we have done here, the inner sheath is going to go inside when we are going to load the rings and we are not going to be able to load the rings on the inner sheath. Let's see how to select the delivery collar when we want to work with both the rings together. So when both the rings are loaded at the same time, the ring delivery collar is first put at 1. This is going to pull the inner sheath partially inside and when we are firing, only one ring is released over the fallopian tube. After this, we are going to move the ring delivery collar at 2 and this is going to pull in the inner sheath completely, releasing our second ring over the fallopian tube. With both rings loaded, suppose instead of selecting 1, we select 2 at the ring delivery collar. When we are going to fire, the inner sheath is going to be pulled in completely and both our rings are going to be loaded on the same fallopian tube. When we are loading one ring at a time, we have to select 2 at the ring delivery collar and this is going to release our ring over the fallopian tube. Suppose we have one ring loaded and we select 1 instead of 2. This time what will happen is that the tube is going to be pulled inside the sleeve of the lubricator but the ring is not going to be released. Here there is a risk of transaction of the tube and this should be avoided. So hope this was helpful. For a video of lap ligation and for the functioning of lap locator, how the movement at the handles affect movement of the jaws, see the links in description below.